from the studios of Media Box ENT on Wednesday, December 7, 2016, the application of the week, Remote Control. How are you doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box, and what a great day to start December to give you a good app to be able to control applications, to be, to be able to clean the memory and do a lot of things, install and install application right from your phone. This is going to be a replacement remote control. You can still use your remote control, but be a lot of users. They, they always post in on the channel, say my remote control no longer works, my control remote no longer has been activated or run out of batteries, all kind of problems. So this is going to kind of take care of your problem. I mean, use it for a little bit, it's pretty good. It's a different feeling than having a remote control. And also, if you have some phones laying now in the house that you want to recycle, you no longer use an Android phone, that will be the time to use it. You can use the phone just as remote control, or you can use your personal phone. What we can control, we can control any Android device we can control right now. I give you example uh, in MSQ Pro, but we control any Android device, no matter what Nexus player. And one more, we're gonna do that later on. We're gonna control also a Fire Stick, so we can control a Fire Stick as well. So we got Fire Stick. We can even control a bunch of TVs. They actually, later on, I give you a link on the application. It has a whole list compatible TVs, Android TVs you can control as well. So I start to put the camera and see my hand. I'm going to record the phone by itself. You're going to put up a small screen so you guys can see what I'm doing in the phone. We're going to be able to see the screen. So I'm going to show this part running an Android device. Then we're going to show you the Fire Stick. And after that, we're going to do the whole installation and few tips. Okay, as you see in the screen now, uh, we got the app here. Okay, this we can control the volume as we see now. I press in the volume, you see light up in the screen. Okay, that's not mute actually. I thought that was mute, but it's not. It will be a nice thing to put that on mute. This is home. We press here, we go to the home, and also check this out. You see this number going here that says 62. We clean right over there, pay attention to the screen, and it kind of cleans your memory. Or they say now it is a good stage, you don't need to clean the memory. Okay, so let's look a few things here. We're going to go right on the side. I'm sorry, we're going to go right over here. If we can do a D-pad, at um, touch mode screen, mouse mode, or keyboard mode. That's what I have right now. Okay, you see I'm moving there up. This one, and then we're going to return. This one, I'm not too great using it. It's kind of gets a little complicated. I think the easy one, we're going to go the D-pad mode, and as you see here, I'm moving to the left, I'm moving the icons, go up, as if we want to go then, we press the center one, and press the center, and we can move through application. We want to go home, I'm going to press the home on the remote control, and we are right over there. So that's that's the D-pad mode. The touch mode, uh, I'm not uh, too crazy on it. As you see, I'm moving my finger, but then you have to actually, I think you have to press it. You see, you press it, right, you calculate about the screen. Let me see if I'm right in the middle by apps. No, I don't know how that really, I'm not too crazy about that one. Um, mouse, mouse is pretty good. Okay, it's a little, you see, we get, you guys see in the phone. Okay, so we're going to go, actually, let me see to get back. Or either we go here, see, there is no way to go on the bar. But what we're going to do, we're going to hit the home screen. Okay, we are right there. And we hit two times on the screen. So if you hit one more time, we actually execute an application. But to give you an idea, and let's go back home. Let's go back again. And we're going to hit it right there one time. Uh, the mouse is still in beta version, okay? And then also we got the keyboard mode two all right uh, that's pretty nice so let's go back to let me see let's go back to home so small tv actually this is what i was seeing if you see in the screen you see my my they call it smart tv that's actually uh the msq pro and you see my fire stick too 
is actually connected. And here you can actually click here and search for the devices that you already installed. You have to install two applications, one in the phone and one you need to install right in the device you try to control, your TV, your Fire Stick, your box, whatever you're trying to control. All right. So let's go back here. Uh, let's we, got, we have to go back uh, home because yeah, the way to go home you have to go on the d-pad mode and then we get the home screen but this is kind of nice so let me show you something here so we see here this number going up uh, I never wait to get a hundred but when I go to my applications now we can see the applications and we can execute an app from here let's say now um, I don't know let's execute something easy though the Play Store, I'm going to click here. As you see here now, it will load up the Play Store. It's kind of nice. Okay. If we now go back, we're going to have to go here. I uh, always get confused with that. Uh, let me see. Remote Control. Yeah, the little button that says Remote Control. And then we can get, get home. I guess you got to get used to. I'm only playing for, for a few days with this. So we go back. And let me show you something else. Let me see my applications. The App Center. Now here, it's kind of nice. It gives you a bunch of applications. Already knows how to install File Explorer. And then you can install a bunch of applications here. That comes also uh, as part of, I guess this guy has a deal with all these applications or some free ones too. It's kind of nice. But this is what this night, my app, apps. Okay, there's nothing to update. So we can do an update from here. But let me show you this. When we go right in the side, we go right in those two lines in the corner, it will be the right up corner. We press right there, and now we see the settings. Okay, normally by default comes with the vibrator mode. Uh, I hate it, so I shut it off. And you can control many things on the remote control. We're going to hit that one. We're going to go back to the corner and check this out. So if we want to uh, speed it up or clean. Okay, that's where we see the numbers rotating. We can run a cleaner, a scanning now. So if anything needs to be clean, as you see, it's checking. Okay. It's going to hit the 100, will be done. And done. Let's go back to the right corner, all the way to the top next to the time, because you guys don't see that when I press it. We can unload, oh, let me see, and actually kill an application or uninstall. Didn't try that. I don't know if it, that will be too, um, oh, this to uninstall it. Okay, so that we uninstall application, they call it unload. All right, so kind of nice. We also got the file manager. For that, requires you to install ES Explorer, but we get the file manager. And check this out. I'm going to actually capture the screen. And you see in the phone, you actually see that I capture the screen at the bottom. But we see in the phone, we can, and now I guess we can share, we can save it in the phone. And also, we got gamepad. You got to try this. Not all the games will work. It has to be games that are designed that actually to work with the keypad mode, actually interact with the keyboard. But it's any any games they only use a screen, touch a screen, and since that is not working, so let's go back into my um, upper corner, and also we can shut down the box. Now, have that in mind. When you shut your box off, the only way to get the box on, you will have to go right to the box, unplug it, and plug it back again. So let's say now your phone, it, your um, remote control is dead. And people say, how you how you restart your box if your remote control is there easily? You take the power off, plug it back again, and automatically start. These boxes, when you plug it in, it starts. There's no switch, except if you got a switch. Somebody has switches, they say the MQ Pro, many do not have a switch. So you plug it in, the boxes start. So if I have here the power off, it's going to shut the, it's going to shut down the box. There is no way to turn it on. You will have to go physically to the box, unplug it, can they reset or, or takes the stage, the mode that is a sleeping mode? You plug it back again and automatically will start. Okay, this is something I don't know if you want to show it Now, if you're going to use the other remote control, then you can turn it on with the 
ER, uh, ER remo uh, with RF, RF remote control. That works different. You can start it from there. Okay. All right. So that's pretty nice. We go back here. And also we can work Cody. So if we go here, let me go to my applications. Let me execute Cody. So we can control Cody real nice too. Oh, where we got Cody? I missed Cody. Okay, so we start Cody as you see here. Oh, it starts a fresh installation. Okay, I guess I delete it. But we can control Cody too. So right there. So I'm going to head over here. Let me see. And uh, yeah, I quit it. But again, let me see. So we are home. Oh no. Okay. And you see here, I can move left, right. I can, I can go, if I go down, I you know, go one more. Should I go to every errand? And then you can center key will execute the application, the errand. We go back home. And that works. Now let's give it a shot. I'm going to show. I'm going to stop this, and then I'm going to show you just a little bit. We're not going to go over everything, but let's see how it work if I connect with the Fire Stick. All right. So now we're looking at the screen on the phone. So we're going to go here, a Smart TV. Okay. And as you see here, it shows one. This is in. Fire TV and it has a check mark, but that's my uh, Fire Stick 2. But here I have the version 1, it's the same. So when I do now check this, I'm going to connect, choose my IP address, okay, and it's a 5 gigahertz network. So it's, uh, it's doing the installation of the connection, okay, let's see. So we wait. I um, mean, I didn't install any software in my uh, Amazon stick. Only require you to install software, and I guess it's done. Let's see. All right. Yeah. That's it. Nice. Okay, you see, so it did installation through the phone. So physically, I didn't need to do anything, I mean, except on the phone or any other devices. So it was real, real nice. So we get video for two things to his here. Okay, so let me show you the installation. The way we're going to do it. So let's go, let's switch uh, screens. Okay, so we are back into regular Android. We are going to open Google Play and we're going to type Citus Player. And we have to go in this. I wish they, they maybe rename this or they put something, they call it something different. Maybe, I don't know, Play or Remote Slide. I, I don't know. They didn't know and install both in the same machine. But this is the one you need to install. So you're going to click here and you're going to install this in any device you want to control. Any your TV or any device you want to control. When it's done, let's say when you reset the box, it automatically starts. So you don't need to execute ever the application. When it's installed, it's done. Okay. So now in the phone, and let's go here and let's type C2 player. And now we see both here. We're going to install only the first one, the remote side loader so we click here then we install after install is done you open make sure they're both connected and start now this is what you need to have in mind very important you have to make sure you are connected wi-fi here wi-fi no data if you are connected with the data plan it's not going to work it needs to be in the same network so if you plan to use your own phone and you're using the data plan it's not, it's, it's not going to work ever. It needs to be in the same local network. If you box VPN, it's not going to work either. So have in mind, you need to disconnect your data plan. Make sure you always connect it with the Wi-Fi when you want to use it. 
and also a few boxes running any v VPN is not going to work either. It needs to be exactly in the same network. That's what's kind of nice. Like this is my test phone. There's no data plan to anything. There's some uh, note, old note phone, and I can use as a remote or whatever it is. So if you have some old phone, you're going to turn the garbage. You should maybe put some new batteries and that will be your brand new remote control. All right, guys. Remember, every Wednesday we have application for phones and also for media boxes. And this Friday, no miss it. We're going to be doing an IPTV over over 1,600 channels. So if you want to learn, if you want to set up your IPTV to see a lot of free movies, I mean, a lot of free TV, all right, this Friday coming up.